Hi, Flosstube. Hello, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 328. Eight. Four plus four plus 20 plus 275 plus 20 plus two plus three is 328. Because math. We're going to have to trust our people. What can I say? Yeah. Welcome back to those of you who have uh, been watching us. Yes. And a special hello mm. to anyone who has just found us. Congratulations. Welcome to Promised Land. This is a channel on YouTube about cross stitch. It sure is. It sure is. And this is our first video of 2024. 20, yes, ma'am. So. Let's get started. Here's to a new year of great flossy videos. That's right. Yep. So, um, we don't really have any. We don't really happy have any everyone. life nope. events or anything in particular. Nope. Uh, we're getting ready for our first retreat of the year. Yep. More about that later. Yep. So it's all been about just stitching. Yeah. Around here, which uh, is good because that's what we do here. And getting used to our new. Kitten. Boy, kitten, who teaches us something new every day. Every day. If nothing else, patience. That's what he teaches yeah. us. And what to put where and what not to put where, where. you can get to it. Yeah. Right uh, now, they're currently chasing each other around the living room. Which so. is great exercise for them both. Yes, definitely milkshake because she's chunky. Yeah, so the old girl needs to have somebody needs to move to a little bit, you know? We had some snow that lasted a morning, and um, that's about it. If I can get him, I'll get him and show you guys. Yeah. But, but they're, right now, they're they having are, a they are blast. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just let them have a blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, we usually start off with, with a hashtag. A hashtag. All right, and our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So, if you are someone who is looking for a stitching friend, just comment below on our videos. Use the hashtag Stitch Harmony. Tell us your name and where you live. And then we pick one of those comments every week. So, I know last week we had multiple Stitch Harmony comments. So, if it turns out that we did not pick your comment. No, we didn't have any last week. Well, then where did these come from? Oh, these came from last week. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think the week before we didn't have any. Correct. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yes. So, Proceed. So, we had multiples last week. And so, but we only picked one. Yeah, so, we only pick one. That's right. Yes. So, if yours didn't get called, then just comment again and put yourself in for the bid again. So, right. All right. Perfect. So, sorry if we seem a little bit distracted. We need to monitor the situation yeah. at all times. Yeah. It's pretty and Yes, we it's do like, have someone coming in and checking it's on also them very when we go away. So, they're they fine. love each other. That's the thing. It's not, there's no fighting, angry, no, no, snarling. No, no, no. We'll see. <laughs> It's also just hilarious. <laughs> it is pretty funny. Yes. Okay. So, this right. week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is whom, Pamela? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely lady named Becky. And this is what she wrote. I have no stitching buddies. No, Becky. And then that emoji with the tears just coming yes, out of sobbing. her eyes. The sobbing emoji. The sobbing emoji. LOL. My nearest stitch shops are four to five hours away. Terrible. It's horrendous. My goodness gracious. Central Cali Blues. Mm. Seriously. I'm thinking I'll have to make a local group and bring supplies and baked goodies. I'm coming if you're doing that. And then that. teach... Hashtag Stitch Harmony, Porterville, California. Porterville. Porterville. Would you all like to know where Porterville is? Well, we're sort of, we sort of know that it's Central. Central California. Yes. All right. So let's check the map here. P O R T E R V I L L E. There is also a Porterville, Mississippi, and New York, and uh, Pennsylvania. Yes. But we want California. Obviously. Okay. Oh, what is that? 
a fun statue. Okay, uh, anyway, so it is... She's playing tourist in Porterville. Yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> There's a veterans park, and so that's what it was. There's also a Eagle Mountain Casino and Dawn Septic Tank Service. Um, in case anyone was wondering, what is that thing? Just... Okay. Um... Oh, it's very close to Sequoia National Forest. Oh, I bet it's We have beautiful. been there. It it looks like it's pretty much um, in between Bakersfield, California to the south and Fresno, California to the north. A little bit closer to Bakersfield. Yeah. Um, so. She needs help, folks. All right. So here is. All right. State of California. Yep. Then if you zoom in to like. South Central. Mm -hmm. So, see the red dot right there? That is Porterville, California. See, it's right next to Sequoia Dash Forest. And then there's Bakersfield. There's Fresno. And then LA, we're going to be in Santa Barbara. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it looks to be um, on 190 and 198. There you go. Or 65, excuse me. Okay. So, so what if, do people do? If your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Porterville, California, then comment below and say, Hi, Becky. Insert name here. My name is, insert name here. I live in around nearby within driving distance of Porterville, California. Maybe and you can meet halfway with somebody. Yeah, that works too. And I'd love to sit with you. And then it is up to you, Miss Becky, to please, um, Look through the comments and see if anyone has reached out to you. Um, I will tell you that I know that there are a ton of stitchers in California. Yeah. So I feel confident that you will find a friend. Uh, just got to do a little work. So. That's right. Porterville. California. Stitchers. stitchers unite. unite. All the fists. Yeah, all the fists. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's not say all the fists again. Thanks. All um, right. Ready? Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. That means it's time for Pam's pin comment. That's the comment that I liked the best of yes. all the great comments we got after last week's video. Yes. And this one was so imaginative that I could not keep myself from pinning it. Right. And this, this is very good. This, I'm not going to tell you who it's from. You're going to figure it out pretty quick. Yeah. Starts off like this, folks. Dear Macaroni. <laughs> we tried that same refrigerator trick when we were little. But our pet human did catch us before we got stuck in there. Better than me. It was cold, but there were a lot of fun things just begging to be explored. Mm. Our yes. pet human pulled us out, even though it took her a few minutes with three of us trying to sneak peeks at once. Three of them. I would die. Three in the fridge. From what it sounds like, it was traumatic being shut in that big door. Yep. So I'm glad our pet human did not let us stay in there. Besides, we've learned we don't like foods that come from the refrigerator. We hope Santa brought you some catnip tea bags like he brought us. They are really great. Mm -hmm. We look forward to hearing more stories of your new life with your pet humans and hope we catch a glimpse of you from time to time. <laughs> Sincerely, Sherlock, Mr. B, and Barney. Meow. <laughs> Very cute. That came to us from Lori Thornton. Thank yes, you, Lori. That was really, really cute. That Very was well done. really, really cute. Very well done. Um, and What did you do with the comment, Pam? That comment was so good. So and I pinned it to the top of all the comments after last week. I love that. Thank you, Lori. Thanks, Lori. Alrighty. Cute, cute, cute. Yes. Ready? Yes. That's a signal. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Break me off a piece of that silver and gold. Silver. That's not the song, but that's fine. Silver floss tuber, the yes. bright and shiny new one on the horizon. The floss tuber shout out portion of the program. Floss tubers, we recommend. Yeah. <laughs> Our silver floss tuber. We recommend. This week is Caitlin at Cross Stitch Kate. Caitlin. Caitlin. We love Caitlin. Caitlin lives in Minneapolis, so thereabouts. 
And she just reached her one year on floss tube. Yes. She had a floss tube anniversary. And Very exciting. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. She has made 14 regular floss tubes and a few other instructional and special edition yeah. floss tubes that are not numbered, sort of like right. what we do. And she's just done her whip parade. Fantastic. And she's had a monumental finish. Not yes. going to give it away. Go check her out. She's so cute, you guys. Yeah, she does a great job. So go check out Caitlin at Cross Stitch Cake. Yes, please do, because we love her. Yes. Our gold floss tuber is a gal we've known for several years. My goodness. My goodness. Wow. Um, and we're talking about Marissa at M. Kissa Creations. Hi, Marissa. We love you. Marissa is a Mainer now. Yep. yep. And um, she, she's also um, a designer. She is also a designer. So we'll link her Etsy shop also, yep. as well as her Floss Tube channel. Absolutely. Uh, Marissa is in sort of her second generation of making floss tubes. Uh, she took a long break there back a while ago, but up yeah. to now she's made about 20. Yeah. And um, she started this new set of floss tubes in March of 2020. Wow. March of 2020. Yeah. That was the beginning of a long year, right? Uh -huh. So um, go check out. Marissa's just also done a whip parade. Oh, I love it. And um, she's just come parade. out with a couple of new designs. Yeah. Um, and she's doing 24 starts in 24. So Except she's better. doing her own version. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. um... That's great. We want you to go give Marissa some love. She's just a dear, and we love her to pieces. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. There's a couple of floss tube channels Don't for you to check that out. Up, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So... Yay. That's fantastic. That's it, folks. See you later. See you next week. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. What have you been stitching on this week, Steph? Well, um, why are you glancing across the I'm room? I'm thinking. Oh, because this was no, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I no, mean, I, yeah, yeah. Well, am I good or she can dish it out? She can. <laughs> okay. No, I just want to make sure that like you said what you need to say. Okay. Boy. <laughs> abuse, abuse. <laughs> um. So the my last Christmas whip of the year, I don't think I worked on it anymore after last week's video. Oh, that's video. what you were thinking about? Yeah. I was okay. like, should I get that? But if I did, it was for like an hour. So yeah. it's fine. No tangible progress. progress. <laughs> Not tangible. No. Um, so this is uh, my New Year New Start. And I, w I will tell you that I had every intention of... Just working on this uh, Monday and then putting it away and starting on any other thing I had planned. You mean New Year's Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this was like my plan was just to work on it during the day and all the things and then put it away and, then put it away. and cause it's on my Whipco board for later this year and I was like, it's fine. And then I couldn't put it down. <laughs> so. Um, I didn't put it down. So this is, was my new year, new start. This is Winter Moon from Plum Street Samplers. That is the chart. Uh, there's nothing about this I don't love. So there's that. Um, however, I will tell you that that, this chart, Winter Moon, is only available from Country Sampler. Um, so it is an exclusive to them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it will be, excuse me, it will be re-released like as a chart only at some point in the future. Um, uh, but for now it is available as a kit only, kit only from Country Sampler. And I posted a progress picture last night on Instagram and someone asked me if Keepsakes had any copies. <laughs> and so I t reminded them that it was just exclusive to Country Sampler for the time being. And in formulating my response to this person, I wanted to double check 
the Country Tampa website because oh, this was pre-ordered back Thanksgiving. Okay. And with the knowledge that it wasn't going to be mailed out till like the week of Christmas or week before Christmas. Yeah. And, which was fine. Whatever. I don't care. And then, um, so I didn't know. I mean, I went on the website and snagged mine, bought it, left. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't, I didn't know. But as of last night, okay, it's still up on the Country You're Sample website. In River City. Got so it. there's a, a 40 count linen option and a 36 count linen option. I have the 36 count option. The fabric is a 32 count salt bush from Fox and Rabbit. Yes, Fox and Rabbit. Um, and it came as a kit, so it had all the things fabric, threads. Did you say 32 or 36? There are two options available, oh. 40 and 36. I chose 36. Okay. And, and I thought I heard you say 32 somewhere in there. Oh, maybe. No, there is not a 32 count option, no. unfortunately. Okay. So this is what I have. So I did a top center start, which is obviously the bunny. And then I just really wanted to do the chimneys. They're just so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. And um, then I did the moon of this. Oh. Say hi to people. Hello, buddy. Hello. Isn't he so cute? He sees himself in the camera. He's mm -hmm. like, who is that pretty kitty? Mm -hmm. I just love him. He does this thing where he just will sit just mm -hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. For hours. Hi, buddy. This is frost too. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. See? Yep. He's like, oh, now it's nap time. Yep. He sleeps with me every night. Yep. And he's just a little stinker, and we just love him so much. Yep. Okay. Time no. to get down now. No. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. He's glued to yeah. the shoulder. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. Okay. And, uh, so the moon is outlined mm -hmm. in white and then there's like another color on the inside. So I plan on taking this to Stitch Away, uh, which is next week, the retreat we're going to, and I can just fill in the moon. Um, the only thing is that these berries, <coughs> these berries and those leaves like cut into the moon, right? So um, I want to get the the leaves done over on that side so then I can just color it in basically. Um, and then if I can, before such way, I want to go and get these windows in. So again, I can just color it in, but we'll see. I have a few fill in projects that I'm bringing to such way, so um, but I can't tell you how much I love this. Like, it's... It's gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, I Fun. mean, all of those colors are just so good. Mm -hmm. And so it's one strand of thread over two linen threads. Yep. And, yeah. So, um, that is literally all I've been working on all week. Because I just love it so much. So... I was off Monday, obviously, for the holiday, and then went back to work Tuesday. I was off Wednesday, Thursday, went back to work Friday, and was off yesterday and today. So, um, I mean, I didn't have to go to the building, I should say. Um, and so I've had some, some sitting time in between things, so yay for that. I didn't know that that bag... Oh, that's a card. I thought that was part of the bag. Nope. Never mind. Just got distracted. Okay. All right, that's what I've been doing in my life, Pam. What about you? Okay. Pam's got a pile over here, people, so settle in. Just going to take it off the top. That sounds like a great idea. Mac is in the audience. Yeah, he is. He's in the... Okay, so good segue. Yeah. So I'm doing 24 starts in 24. Yes. And my first one was on New Year's Day. And, and it you is... should clarify that uh, 24 starts in 20, 2024 is Pam's... Thing. It's not. It's not like this big event that's like hosted. If you want to participate, you can participate, but it's basically twenty four starts in twenty twenty. Right, and everybody's kind of doing their own thing with it. 
So uh, this is from Shannon Christine Designs, and it's called Cup of Cheer. It looks like that. <laughs> Mac, do not eat the notes. Yeah. We need, we need them. We need them. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you little fronted. So now you have a piece of paper to play with. Yeah, it's very exciting for you, Boy. buddy. Here, I'll take these. And I don't really care if you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but so I am doing this on this was when I kitted up for you for Christmas yes I had the chart she got me the fabric and the threads yes <laughs> he's watching my hand every move uh, so she got me summer breeze 32 summer count breeze. 32 count linen from <laughs> fabrics by Steph and I think he dropped his paper yep <laughs> I don't care if he eats it he doesn't eat it I not hurt him no so, this is how far I got on oh, it's so good. New Year's Day. So, I got the beginnings of the penguin cup and the H in half. So, there you go. It's so good. Perfect fabric. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's going to be lovely. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's Very really, really pretty. So, that was my first of 24 this year is this if um, he pulls that cord we're gonna lose our light <laughs> just a warning well then we'll pause it and we'll re readjust yep you know this is our new world it's better than a baby <laughs> okay In and then um, also my first uh, whip go call Woo! for January yep. uh, and I generally just out of two calls, I just... Oh! Oh, please. Yeah. He... Okay. The <laughs> floss tube with Mac. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is from the Primitive Hair, and it is called Harriet Tubman. Okay? He's like a bad penny, everybody. <laughs> I have the PDF. <laughs> yeah. And, um... I had started this, kind of just barely, and I think I started it at Stitch Away. You did start it at Stitch Away mm -hmm. last year, I think. Um, something tells me it was the year Marcy came. I don't remember how many years ago. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Do you I have the... It. Yeah. Okay. But I've made some great progress, you guys. Um, let me see if I can put paper behind it. But... I have her whole face and shoulders in. I have her full name. Um, and I have this lovely leaf motif down the side. So I feel really good. It looks about, awesome. About this. This is um, Isabella's uh, own fabric. This is 30, 30 count linen. And it looks so good. Yeah. And, um, and can you see the bits of chronic in there? Oh, it's so lovely. Yeah, there's chronic in the Especially lettering, in the, in the font of her name, in the flower. Uh, her. You've uh, made so much progress since the last time you In one this. week. So, yeah. what I started to say, I don't remember if I got this out or not, but I generally take my two whip go calls and I just do two weeks on one and two weeks on another. Yeah. If, I, if I happen to finish it, great. If I don't, great. No problem. Yeah. It's so, um, that was my progress on my whip go. And I don't know where you're going to put that to keep that away from it. But anyway. I got it. Okay. Um, another thing that I worked on was this design that is a stitch along between. <laughs> yeah. Chris from. I got to sneeze. Oh, bless you, Pam. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, God bless you, Pam. And it's not the cat. No. Uh, if anyone was concerned. This is called the Good Ship Sampler. Okay, and you said it was a sow with? Oh, with Chris from Stitchy Fix and yep. Debbie from Snug Harbor. Snug Harbor Crafts. We decided we would um, work on this as a sow. Yeah. I'd kind of almost started it, so it was a good choice Worked for me. It. it was Chris's idea, and it's super fun. Yes. Um. The picture of this design <laughs> was uh, a casualty of a vinyl front project. Bag. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot so about that. So this is a 
screenshot of what it looks like. It has a really nice verse on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing mine on uh, sterling, 28 count sterling limit. From Picture This Plus. From Picture This Plus that I got at Craft Gallery. Yeah. And I'm using my own conversion. I don't know what the other two women are doing. Well, Chris kitted up Debbie's for her at Stitch West. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, um, like I said, I just picked my own conversion. I, it will look like the picture. It's not a wild uh, deviation from and the original. And your threads are... Um, oh, that's, I think, what I did. I decided to do a full color and cotton conversion. conversion. Was, yeah. That's what I did. Yep. So, it looks like this. And I got all the wheels. You and Debbie are basically in the same spot. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I watched their video last night, and I'm pretty sure that, yeah. Yeah. I don't think she's done the back stitching yet. So if you I would love can to. try to hold it any closer, I don't know. Yeah. That but, teal uh, is just so good. Yeah. <laughs> Everything needs to be anchored down. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, please. Okay. So, yeah, the colors are great. So good. So. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here, I can do it. Okay. Another thing I worked on was the Seaside Sampler from Rosewood Manor. Woo! That I'm kind of doing with Lori... Uh, P.E. on yeah. Instagram. Lori the Flying Cross Stitcher. Yeah, Lori the Flying Cross Stitcher. Yeah. Colors don't look anything like the picture. What's um, the, sal uh, the hashtag? Seaside Sampler Sal. You know, it's very original. I really didn't get a whole lot done on this at all. Um, but if you haven't seen it before, I thought I would show you. Um, this is... How big it is. I don't remember seeing you. Work. Oh, this must have been one of the days I worked. Yeah. I put in a few more signal flags uh, over here. And you can see how the colors are so much better than the picture on the front. Um, and the wave motifs above it. So I put in a very few stitches on this. But it's super pretty, and it uses trainway silk. I was just going to say, what's the silk? And I do love it, and it is going to be gorgeous. Mm, so pretty. When it is done. So. Yay for that. Yeah. All right. And the other one that I did was, uh, worked on this week, and I made a major, uh, hit a major milestone on this. Woo! What I feel pretty good about. You sure? This was the um, gift design at Stitch West in the fall of 2022. Mm -hmm. And that's because uh, Teresa Kogut was our guest designer. Yeah. And it is Seaworthy Sampler. Sorry for the glare. It, this has now been released yeah. in, in a beautiful book. Yes. And her books are just lovely. They are. Um, so uh, this is on 32 count Earl Grey Lugana yes. from Grace, Notes, Grace fabrics. Notes Fabrics. And if you haven't seen this yet. Get ready. You're about uh, to have your socks knocked off. <laughs> I don't know about that. But. This is where I am so far, and the big milestone is that this is a quilted design. Steph will hold it up closer yeah. in a sec. And it is just beautiful, and I was determined to get the whole sail in. It looks awesome. Yeah. It looks so awesome. Yeah. There will be um, straight stitches from this little red bird. Mm-hmm to the flag like he's pulling it th across the sky, but I haven't put those in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the flag is not, like, just arbitrarily placed there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bird is pulling And then it. everything on this side is done. Yep, yep. So, so you're almost done, Pam. Well, I need to, um... 
I mean, you got the mermaid to put in. And I got the, the mermaid. Those the flowers will go in fairly quickly. Obviously, the boat has to go in. Well, yeah. And there's a smaller whale, and the rest of the fish is under the sea. And um, under the sea. Under the sea. And then, awesome. um, then it will be done. I love this. Yeah, you, uh, you really enjoyed it. When we were sitting there at the retreat in 2022, it was our first time at Stitch West. Yeah. We basically went because... It was Teresa. I mean, I went for Catherine, but... But uh, <laughs> when she said she'd never designed anything nautical before... Yeah, that was But wanted cool. to because of the name of their channel, Snug Harbor Crafts. Right. And yeah, that was she neat. pulled out the whole ensemble of designs, which are all in the book. Mm -hmm. I just... I teared right up. I mean, she sobbed. Let's just be honest about I it. I did sob. Yeah. So that was super fun to get that whole sale in, and I do feel like I've kind of crossed the Rubicon on it. So, that's... and is this a sale too? Let's see where these samples. Um, are. I sort of, in my in my emotional response to the design, yeah. I, I more or less said, "Let's start a sale. Let's just start let's a all sale together. together." Yeah, you know, I don't know who's doing it with me or. Do you the... use the hashtag in your post? I do. Okay, I do. And then, um, what's wrong? Nothing. That's all my whips. Okay. I was going to say, oh, I haven't even gotten the thing out yet. I'm so sorry. Hold, please. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Why did I do it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Those are our whips of the week. I hope you've been whipped enough. <laughs> wow, well, I mean, never wow. enough. Okay, and... Oh. <laughs> Pam oh, has a finish. I had a big finish. Yes, yeah, And did. thank you to everybody who cheered me on. Yes. Uh, speaking of Me especially. West, this was <laughs> the... Um, uh, yes. Sal that went from... October Stitch West 24. in October 2022 to Stitch West in October of 2023. It is yeah. from the Drawn Thread. It is called Sunnyside Sampler. And um, I was, I know I shouldn't have been, but I was kind of mollified by the fact that I didn't finish it in time for Stitch West 2023. Can you tell me what, oh, you're probably just irritated? Yeah, I was kind more... of humbled and ashamed mm. of myself. Oh, well, you could have got it done if you really tried. I know. But but you didn't, so. It's finished now. Okay. So, so uh, I bought the full kit from the Drawn Thread directly. Yeah. So it's 32 count natural, but one thread. It's a combination of silks, mm -hmm. and um, it's a beautiful, beautiful design. It's stunning, Pam. And um, there is some over one in it. And it was over one that I finished it up with. Yes. So, this is my Sunnyside Sampler. Finally, finally. And I even pressed it. Yeah, she did. Yes, I did. So, I'm going to hold it up for a minute. Yep. It looks awesome. Which one's your favorite? Which house? Yeah. Um, I really like the blue house. Oh, yeah? And I like... I like them all, but I really was surprised at how much I like the blue house. This one here, you mean? Yeah, yeah the darker yeah. blue house. Yeah. I like the red house. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just lovely. It is really, really pretty. So it was a combination here. of NPIs and dinky dyes, I think. Great. Um, yeah, NPIs and dinky dyes. And just in case you weren't able to read the over one, it says, keep up on the top, keep on the sunny side. Always on the sunny side. I hope you're seeing it because I can't see. Down below a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So it's finished and I'm very pleased with it. And then it says keep on the sunny side of life on the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. So, um, congratulations! Pam. <coughs> that fills uh, frees up a sal spot Ooh, in my two baby. sal slots. 
That is um, exciting for you. I might just double up days on one of my cells. Oh, okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, As opposed to starting a new one. Yeah. Great. Nothing has come across the socials that is, um, I felt compelled like, to jump on. You need to start right now. Uh, yet. But okay, right. the year is young. It is, you know. Okay. So. Happy, happy finishes, finishes, everyone. Okay. Okay, okay. Promotions. Welcome okay, to we the have, Triple P Promotional We have a couple program. of things. Um, the first I want to talk about is um, our friend Katie at the Naptime Stitcher yeah. uh, does a variety of different printables on her Etsy shop. Um, mm -hmm. And she actually made a nice chart for anybody doing 24 anythings in 2024. Mm -hmm. Whips, projects, starts. Yeah. They're, they're like super they're reasonable great. and they're super helpful. You can just three hole punch them and put them in your planner, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've mentioned before, and I know it's only the what? What's the date today? The date today, ma'am, is Sunday, January 7th. It's only the seventh day of the year. <laughs> so we don't know how long I'm going to make it, but I have decided I'm going on a chart or pattern diet this year and uh so what that means is that instead of impulsively getting something that i see on the socials usually instagram mm -hmm. or floss tube um i don't immediately go and purchase it mm -hmm. and she came up with a great printable tool for that so that i can keep track of mm -hmm. things that i'm might want to buy in 2025. Great. Whether I buy them in 2025 or I just hand this list to Stephanie. Yeah, because that's what I said. Just make the list and give it to me So, So, um, this is a list uh, that you fill in. It's called Planned Pattern Purchases for 2025. Mm -hmm. And she gives you two pages. But it's PDF. It's a PDF. So you can print off multiple pages. Oh, that's true, too. That's true. I mean, you can print uh, off 72 pages if you really wanted to. Yeah. Because that second page is totally blank. Right. I mean, not totally the blank, page it doesn't, doesn't have, a header. have the heading. But it gives you a place to write in the pattern, the yep. designer, and the source. So you can put in, like, Etsy Shop or 123 Stitch or, or LNS. Exclusive from whatever. Yeah. And so it's very, very helpful, and I do plan to use it. Yeah, it's started. Awesome. But I wanted to send you over to Katie's Etsy shop, and we'll put it. It's a nap time sticker. We'll put yeah. it in the notes. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> so then uh, let's talk about the Twin Pea Primitives Pattern of the Week for 2024. Yeah. So per usual, we will continue to have a Pattern of the Week from the Twins at Twin Pea Primitives. Um, it will continue to be discounted for one week. Um, so from video to video. Um, for this year, for 2024, the discount is going back to 20%. Uh, so it, that's 20% off both the PDF cop versions and the hard copy versions as well. Right. So you can get, just like every other pattern of the week we've ever had, if you prefer to have a PDF version, mm -hmm. uh, then that will be available from the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. Everything is linked below. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for 2024, the hard copy vendor of the pattern of the week is going to be TPP limited editions. Mm -hmm. So um, keeps it kind of all in the family and, you know, very succinct, mm -hmm. very, very easy. TPP limited editions is an Etsy shop. So that will, of course, be linked below for you. Um, and... Everything else pretty much stays the same. There's no code. There's no nothing. Right. It's just already discounted and you add it to your cart and check out. So, for um, the first release of first pattern of the week in 2024. Um, it's going to be one of their books. Yes. So, this is awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, the pattern is called Red Smalls. 2024 mm -hmm. and here is what the cover looks like 
So for those of you that are wanting to get a jump start on, I don't know, your Valentine's Day stitch drink, this is great. Um, all the products that you see here are obviously in the book as well. Uh, but it also is, let's see. So there's some notes I wanted to read. So the inside of the chart says this. Um, while working, and this is a note from Nursen, who's the designer, obviously. Um, while working on these patterns. Nursen. That says Nursen. But that's, okay, we're not sure. Okay, well, the letter that's inside the book is signed by Nursen. So, okay, okay. Uh, it says, while working on these patterns, I also focus on the emotions that fill a stitcher's heart and thoughts that fill the brain while he, while, when he or she picks up a fabric and thread. As a result, these seven patterns carry the essence of those emotions. From my perspective, stitchers see the speech of the creator in the work of the needle. Stitchers turn things inside out and set things right. Stitchers salvage what we can of human garments and piece the rest onto fabrics. Sometimes our stitches stutter and slow. Other times the tension in the stitches might be too tight because of tears, but only we know what emotion went into the making. All stitchers can hear the prayer. That is why I feel that all stitchers are like angels, loving, giving, caring, and blessing. This book is dedicated to all the stitchers who calls who calls an angel by the loved ones. Happy stitching, Nurse and Camber. So, I just thought that was just so lovely yes, and beautiful, we, yeah. and I really rung true for me. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I just think that that's great. So, there's 18 pages, 17 designs. They Each design is both in color and black and white. So, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and what else? What else? What else? Yes. So, um, TPP limited editions, Etsy for hard copy vendors this year. Fantastic. So, yeah. um, so pretty much nothing changes except the hard copy vendors. So, um, from your end, all you have to do is click on the link below, mm -hmm. uh, that takes you to either their website or Etsy shop, um, or the TPP limited editions Etsy shop to get your hard copy. That's right. So yay for that. And here's to another year with the wonderful twin. That's right. We, we cannot wait to see what the year brings. I love them so much. Yep. All right. Okay. That means it's time for mail call. mail call. All right. We have one Christmas card and one piece of mail call. And it is this Christmas card. And it came to us from Kathy. And uh, it, she lives in Kalua Kona, Hawaii. Love it. Love it. Look at it. Oh, isn't that cute? Meleka Miki Maka is the That's right. I just think it's so cute. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if there there might be a brief pause there, but anyway, thank you so much, Kathy. We love this so much. So <laughs> this is the most hot mess video we've ever had, and I love it so much. I know, I know. Um, but that was all the milk haul. So thank you for that. On to haul. Yes. Uh, I am a member of Teresa Kogut's Patreon, mm -hmm. and it's the beginning of a new month. Yes, it is. So. Tier two, three, and four got Lovebirds. Mm, pretty. As a PDF. You love one another. Tier three and four got Peaceful Heart. That's my favorite one, I think. Look at that bird, man. I just really love this border. Like, it looks like fabric. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. looks like ticking fabric. Right. Yep. So good. Tier four got Valentine Heart and Hand. Love it. Let me show the little pattern on the inside. Yeah, it's not so cute. Inside of the heart. Yep. And for a mere five dollars, we got our Patreon January 2024 ornament. And appropriately, it is Cupid. So cute. So those are lovely. Yes, absolutely. And because Pam is on a chart diet, and um, that's all her all. So, um, and I actually don't have much either. I just have two project bags. Because I can't help myself, okay? Yep. Um, so this one is from uh, Belinda at Blue Ribbon Designs. Love Belinda. Oh, we love her so much. So um, she is extraordinarily talented. And um, I think I'm going to send her some finishing this year. I'm going to yeah. see what's open yeah. in her you know. schedule. Yes. Yeah. Um, but every once in a while, she posts 
bags or notions bags, project bags, all the things. And she is extraordinarily talented with a sewing machine. And so I picked up a patchwork bag from Belinda. It is so beautiful. It's made from a bunch of vintage fabrics. Ooh, so pretty and springy. I just think it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And it's a patchwork bag. Yes, obviously. Um, but it's a little bit different um, size than the other other patchwork bags I have, I should say. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the inside is just a beautiful, like, creamy neutral. Mm -hmm. And um, she uses a some sort of stabilizer in here and it makes it like not like super stiff but right. like i don't know it's just really substantial right but aren't these vintage fabrics so gorgeous mm -hmm. oh i love it i love it i love it i love it so i got that from the blue ribbon designs etsy shop so my trick for that for her is just to follow her on instagram um and because there's no real set schedule for her uh so, I'll, of course, link her Etsy shop below so you can bookmark that, too. And then um, I picked up a patchwork bag <laughs> from uh, Starry Owl Stitchery. And I just don't know if I have a ton of, like, blue winter. Oh, yeah. We can make up all kinds of oh, excuses. Oh, I will rationalize till the cows come home, okay? <laughs> till the cows come home. Right. Um, I mean, I just really liked it. Mm-hmm. Isn't it beautiful? It's really, really pretty. I Wait till you see the one I ordered today. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show that next week. Yeah. I love the blues. Oh, man. Beautiful. So pretty. Mm -hmm. um, one of my whips is uh, Blackbird Designs Color of Winter. So I'm putting that oh, in Oh, yeah. 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 Um, and then that's the back. Mm -hmm. And then this is the inside. Oh, it's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. And I am not naturally a blue person. So... But, you know, it's fine. I might steal it. Nope, you won't. Um, okay. And that, ma'am, is all of the haul. Add to cart. Okay. So okay, we have a special giveaway. Yeah. And um, it's very exciting to work with... This gal. Yeah. Um, Patty. Patty. She is a designer that we've worked with before. Mm -hmm. um, her. Four boys and an NL girl. Her design name is Four Boys and an NL Girl, meaning. Um, Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Yeah. And. Um, we've given, given away and talked about her stuff before. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So she reached out to us. Yeah. And. Uh, said that she had come up with a couple of new designs mm -hmm. and they're PDFs and they're great. And um, so she sent us copies, mm -hmm. which is so lovely and generous. Right. And then she is going to mail one lucky winner mm -hmm. a bundle of these two charts. Right. One is a standalone. Yes. Uh, and it's part of a series that uh, she has done. Uh, has she done another month before this? Another season. I think it was autumn. Okay. Yeah. So this, this is, is the second. Is my favorite things is a series. Yeah. And this is my favorite things. Winter. Mm -hmm. Super, super cute. Love and it. And comes as a PDF. So the winner, whoever that may be, will Which, just give us your email address and right. then we'll give your email address to Patty. Right. And Patty will send you. And then she started a, um, more or less a mystery stitch along because you don't know from month to month what the monthly, um, design will be. Right. And it's, uh, going to feature animals. It's Love called it. an animal ornament series. Um, and for the first Are they all one. Are winter animals? Uh, let's see. I mean, it's called Burr Cold Winter. Yeah. I think so. Let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> it's all about the blah, blah, blah. It's literally called the Burr Cold Winter. 
mystery, mystery stitch, stitch along, along 2024. So yes, okay. they're cold weather animals. For cold winter animals so. ornament series. So. And the first one that you will get if you win is the January and it is... Are you ready? The polar bear. Oh, oh look isn't at it them. cute? Isn't it cute? Don't you just want to just boink the nose? Yes, boink the nose. So, um, we are going to uh, pick a winner. Yeah. Uh, and announce it situation. on the next video. Yes. And then um, when we hear from you after we draw your name, mm -hmm. you'll be sent these um, two the PDF. PDFs. My favorite thing's winner. And then each month you will get the Burr Cold Winter The next animals. Burr Cold Winter Animal Ornament. Yes, you will. So you'll end up with 12 ornaments to make. Which, which is very fantastic. exciting. So we thank Patty most sincerely. We surely do. For thinking of us and involving us in her design. Yes. And, and um, so. We need to have you um, use a word mm -hmm. to win this giveaway. And the word will be what, Stephanie? Winter. You fine so, with that? I'm fine with that. Perfect. Winter. winter. Use the word winter in a sentence in your mm -hmm. comment on right. this video, and right. we will pick a winner next week. That's right. Uh, you must subscribe to this channel. You must. You can live wherever because it's an email, right? So yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. to us. Um, and you must be 18 years of age or older. I mean, right? I think you have to be 18 to make an email address. So I don't know. Uh, no, you don't. I don't know. Make an email I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had to create yeah. an email account. It's we're not mailing you anything, so there's no, yeah, age, so there's restriction no age restriction on this one. Yes, yeah. Technically. It's just saying that. Yeah. So use the word winter in your comment to be entered. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay. Uh we have a couple of folks to thank. Uh-huh. And that is because they took advantage of the links in our description box for buy yes. me a coffee. We use that for Framing, finishing, and postage expenses. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to publicly thank Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. And Jana. Thank you so much, Jana. And um, we appreciate that. Yes. I think we're going to be making a framing uh, trip maybe next month. We have Great. to look at our calendar and think about yeah, I will, I will, when we can do that. needs to be early February. Before yeah, maybe. Before market. Right. Early so, February, maybe. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, like we mentioned, yeah. um, we have a retreat this week. Uh -huh. uh, we will be going up to uh, Houston Woods State Park, yep, north of Oxford, Ohio, yep, for our annual Stitch Away retreat hosted by Keepsakes. Yeah, and um, how many are going to be there? About hundred and mm, roughly around between one hundred and eighty and two hundred. Yeah, yeah, close to two hundred people. I don't, I don't think any of the days are going to have everyone there, but right. um, because it's like an a la carte situation, so right. um, you can pick and choose what days you come. But registered attendees is like a hundred and eighty-five. Yeah. I'm ready. We're going to go up on Wednesday and stay through Sunday, which yep. means no video on Sunday next week. Correct. So it'll uh, just be late. It'll just be late. We'll probably do it the following Wednesday or Thursday on one yep. of Stephanie's days off. Yes. And um, so we'll announce the winner of the giveaway then. Yeah. And all that jazz. Yeah. So. We're very um, excited. We can't It'll wait. be about 10 days. Before. So it's a keepsakes sponsored event. Yeah. Um, so, um, which is the local data workshop here in Cincinnati and also my employer. Uh, and so it's like a working thing for me, not as much as StitchCon, um, but still it's a working thing for me so um but i still get to sit and sit and hang out with my friends and i'm very excited to do that yeah. excited for the crock pot crew to be together right. um and i know what the um exclusive design is for this year from the um stitch away designer which is the secret um and let me just tell you that if you are not attending stitch away keep your eyes peeled on the keepsakes social medias after Stitch away is over. So after Martin Luther King Jr. Day, make sure that you have your eyes on the prize. That's right. Because it's gorgeous. Yeah. Like, if you were a fan of Bluebirds... I'm sure you were thrilled last year. I mean, so good. Yes. Literally so good. If you like houses, it's great. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. It's so good. So, um, 
So that'll be great. We're going to do the same thing that we did last year, which was have the Stitch Away exclusive pattern. Um, and I do believe some fabric as well available on the Keepsakes website after the retreat. Oh, immediately after? Yeah, just like we did with Bluebirds last year. Oh, yeah. gosh, yeah. I forgot. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. That was when we, remember that was when we opened the online shop, Pam. Oh, that's right. Mm. Um, and so just that's something to look forward to if yeah. you are not attending. Um, and um, so it'll be really fun. This is the first time that we've had a Stitch Away be a week-long event. So um, it starts tomorrow and there's classes and things happening at the beginning of the week. Um, and so it'll be really interesting to see how it's always goes. it's traditionally always over martin luther king jr weekend yeah and uh so um we've had mild you know yeah. weather yeah or we've had blizzards Crazy. yeah so it's we'll a toss-up and uh it's looking good so far luckily for us <coughs> cross stitch is not an outdoor activity <coughs> correct so um but yeah so it'll be fantastic and I so, can't wait. <clears throat> we hope you're doing well. We yeah. hope that uh, you are getting lots of stitching in. We know that some of you back east got hit with uh, uh, a bit of snow. Uh-oh. Which, bit, um, huh? which uh, provided some excitement and um, also some, uh, maybe some concentrated stitching time. Great. So good for you on that. I love that. Um, we are going to be... Um, enjoying our retreat and uh just kind of kicks off the year really well for us yes um we are we do have someone coming in uh to uh, on check on the cats mm -hmm. um while we're gone so yeah. no concerns there yeah um we are enjoying them tremendously mm -hmm. and um we know that there are a lot of you out there who enjoy seeing um animals mm -hmm. um but uh um uh, we're 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 going to just see how it goes. Obviously, he's only, you know, five or six months old, and we just don't know what's going to happen from yeah. one minute to the next with him. <laughs> we are trying to keep him out of the refrigerator, but, right. um, you know. We're succeeding ever since the He incident. did manage to find a way to get to the kitchen counter yeah. this past week, yeah. and so another level. What he's is leveled game? up. He's leveled up yeah. in, in gaming terms. Yeah. So I don't I mean, think he just... remembers how we did it the first time. No, he has no recollection whatsoever. What? Once he f does it on a more regular basis, it's it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, and then I want to say one other thing. Yeah. Was that, um, and I meant to say this last week, and I apologize I didn't remember to do it. But um, as a sort of like a closeout from 2023, from a keepsake shipping perspective, I just wanted to say so many thank yous to all of you who through just keep stitching found keepsakes and ordered stuff from us and i got to luckily ship it to you um i sort of like keep track of all the stats on the shipping and to see the numbers of like the packages that have gone out and where we've mailed them to and um it's just mind-blowing and so i'm so honored that you entrust us me to do that and so um it's been a blast and i cannot wait to see what 2024 brings so we had a big year last year with the anniversary and all that so what were um, the two states that you shipped to the most california and texas after Isn't ohio amazing after ohio after ohio to be fair the next two after yes ohio. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah california yeah. we mailed packages to 125 different california towns isn't that something i think that's cool yeah i just it's amazing yeah. so yeah. and we mailed 95 international packages this year literally in 2022 i think i mailed half a dozen yeah so it's been the such an amazing, increased so much, incredible growth. And I realize that like it, I'm just a small part of the puzzle that makes it all happen. But I know that we get a lot of people that support keepsakes because in a way you are supporting me and I'm, I, it means more to me than you will ever know. So yeah. it's just been really great to like watch that part of the business grow. So I can't wait to see what the future holds. So yay. All right, uh, we are going to see you in about 10 days, Yeah, middle of next week, yeah. and um, we hope that you stay well, stay healthy, and um, enjoy the stitches. Yes. Um, in the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.